My name is Kenan Kay. I'm the Director of Agriculture at the Queens County Farm Museum. It's the only working historic farm in all of New York City and this is just the beginning of 47 acres. This whole area was farmland back in 1697 and, and the farmhouse that we're in right now dates back to 1772. At that time New York was all farmland. It's pretty special to have this space preserved today because it's now surrounded by a community. We produce everything from tomatoes to lettuces to eggplant. We have berries and asparagus and perennials and flowers. Uh, we really try and diversify, especially since we're here in Queens, one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the world, really. This is Golden Frills right here. It's kind of got a wasabi, spicy flavor, and it's one of the greens that we add to our mesclun mix. You weren't lying, it totally does. Yeah, it's really <laughs> spicy. shy and timid as you can tell. One of the coolest parts about farming in New York City is that we have access to a lot of really really awesome local organizations. Um, one of which is the Brooklyn Brewery. They give us their spent grain after they make beer and we feed it to our pigs and we add it to our compost piles and feed it to our chickens. We have happy chickens. <laughs> Every year we see about half a million visitors here on the farm, and about half of that are student groups. We offer volunteer days every Sunday and Tuesday, so we have a lot of high school interns who work on the farm and really feel a sense of pride in what they do here and will therefore hopefully keep coming back. I think it's really important for everyone to see where their food comes from, especially kids who grow up in New York City and may not have a backyard. We're only 15 miles away from the heart of Manhattan, so it's really exciting for kids to come out, to see a carrot pulled out of the ground, and to appreciate that food comes from the earth and therefore we have to take good care of it. A lot of these buildings date back to the 1700s, so as you can imagine, it takes a lot to make sure they're in good shape and that they can last for future generations. The Adrian's Farmhouse also needs new clapboards on the outside, the exterior. Our historic glass greenhouse where we do all of our plant starts for the growing fields and we also have our gift shop and welcome center. It's beautiful but a lot of the glass is falling out of the panel so in order to keep that in good shape it needs, it needs a massive restoration. People will always want to come here. I think the fact that we have open space, woodland, flowers, vegetables, livestock. It's a very dynamic place. It is inspired and inspiring because of the people who come here. It is what New Yorkers make it.